Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Hair, and this is another episode of Let's Play Custom Robo uh, in the last episode. Well, when we last left off, Linda here asked us to go help Harry because she thinks we're part of Steel Hearts uh, if she's hiring. I'm not... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, since the original time I uploaded this, uh, my microphone, I'll explain this a little bit later, but it was kind of messed up, so you couldn't hear pretty much like half of it. And so I'm just re-recording this for anyone who has is just beginning the custom robo let's play thing <laughs> i don't know but anyway uh so i'm gonna be using all my new stuff and there shouldn't be any audio things if it is apparently this episode is uh, cursed i don't know so anyway let's go help harry uh let's let's distract this guy this guy here is pretty strong all right well he's he's not gonna be distractible is that a word harry i'm here to help what did you yeah oh harry, harry broke his neck well that's the game we're done well, that was a short game. Ow! Oh, he's good. Dang it. I mean, hey, yay. You idiot, don't talk to me while I'm fighting. I lost the fight because of you. We talked to the other guy and he didn't lose the fight. <laughs> That's what you get for not paying attention. Ow! I think I hurt myself. Ow, you broke your neck. I'd say you hurt yourself. Shoot! They're gonna swipe that new robo if I don't stop him. Harry, let me help. But you don't even have a robo. Oh yeah, that's right. Let me borrow your robo. I'll use that to fight. That won't work. I've already done my eye, eye scan registration. I'm the only one who can use it. Eye scan registration? Yeah, there's no time to explain. Hello, can I go now? I mean, if you two are just going to fight amongst yourselves, do you you don't really need me here, do you? Man, even the crooks are making fun of us. If only you had a robo. A robo. Where could I find a robo? If only there were a there was a big red arrow in this game that pointed to stuff that is important. Oh, look, a big red arrow. How convenient. What's this box? Huh? There's a button on the back. I'd better press a random button. Tap. Huh? It's starting to buzz. Whoa there, did you just do an eye scan registration? You still haven't, you still haven't told me what, what that even is. Eye scan registration is when you look into the robo sensor while pressing that button. But there's no time to explain! Get in the van! I mean, there's... The point is, you're the only one who can use... Can control that robo. Hurry up and dive. Dive? This is a robo? Shut up and do what I say. Beat that burglar. Well, that sounds like a good idea. I think about this, kid. You sure you want to go up against me, even though you've never even used a custom robo? This wise guy think he's, thinks he's tough just because he got lucky against me? Well, don't be scared. He'll be weak from our fight. Even you should be able to beat him. Now listen. Your robo, your robo will shoot out of the robo cannon on the left side. It'll be red. So, uh, you'll, you'll see. Robo cannon? It's the machine that shoots the robo cube. The robo cube transforms once it's been fired. And the Robo Cube counts down to zero. It completes its transformation. After that, the B press the B button to fire your gun. Use the gun to blam, blam, blam. Your energy, enemy's energy tilts down to zero, and you win. Use the control stick to zoom, zoom, zoom around, and B use the B button to fire. Got it? Yes, sir. Good. The fight's made him weak. You'll do just fine. Zoom, 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 bang, bang. Quotes from Harry. Anyway, guys. Uh, so yeah, as you can see here, we'll have this little rotating screen that'll ro that'll show you your enemy and its parts that it's using uh this will go on forever until you press a so what's uh you see here we have our custom uh, customized robo that's our robo we have the opponent data uh and we'll be going over all this the holoceme data the strategic advice and the start battle we're not going to do that yet uh let's look at the opponent's data real quick he has a splendor i'm sorry about that that was there was a phone anyway uh so i'm just going to be going over with this uh series for every new part which everything is new at this point so i'm going to be going over everything uh so i'll be going over this. Uh, we have a Splendor Robo. It's a Shining Fighter model. Exhibits basic capabilities. Well balanced attributes uh, allow operators to use Robo. Use all Robo functions with ease. Can air dash twice in the collision. A collision is an attack you can do without using a part. It'll knock down the opponent immediately. That'll make uh, more sense as we get more into this. He has the basic gun, a gun with basic capabilities. Huh, how about that? Fires three rounds at a time. Aerial and ground shots are the same. The range is medium. I'm not going to read the advisory just because that's kind of a personal uh, bit, of, bit of advice not really necessary uh, to know. And it just kind of takes up time if I were to read the advisory. He has a standard bomb, features uh, basic functions, flies toward, uh, straight towards the target, launches one bomb at a time, and blows the target back diagonally. He has a standard pod, features basic functions, flies, uh, flies straight in the direction it's deployed, can deploy two pods at one time, blows the target diagonally upward. And he has a standard legs or ankle weights, because that's pretty much what they look like. A uh, base, basic set of legs, features no special characteristics, uh, possesses no extent or descent augmentation, replace as soon as possible with a different set of legs. These are really useful, you can tell. 
Um, <coughs> anyway, the Holosseum. The Holosseum is, uh, where we fight the battles. So, we have the basic arena, a <coughs> stage that sets the standard for, ro for robo battles. The formation of obstacles is less well, is well balanced and makes a prime, uh, place for normal battles. Now, let's go on to our customization of the robo. We have our Rayo 1, and that's basically, uh, basically what you're gonna be using for the main part. It's a Shining Fighter model, um, like the other guys, it's just a different type. It's a different robo, but it's still a Shining shining Fighter model. Uh, basic capabilities, well, ba well balanced, and stuff like that. We actually have the same stuff as him, except for our robo, so I'm not going to go over any of that. Uh, this is in yellow right now because we have never used it before. Uh, the strategic strategic advice uh, review robo battle basics and strategy tips uh, basically everything that you've learned from people telling you it'll be in here I never really need to use it uh, but if you need to feel free to go go for it bro or dude or dudette or sis I don't know anyway uh, so you can see here I'm rotating the robo cannon around um, you can go anywhere now whenever you get here you're gonna want to mash the like every button on the controller and if you can get up before him that was my B attack my gun attack I uh, use that to be uh, use that with B. I'm pretty much gonna jump around until I'm or run around dodging this guy until uh, I explain everything. You saw here B is the gun. Uh, I'm moving around with control stick. Uh, wow, shocker! Moving around with the control stick. Um, R. I'm gonna press that now. Is our bomb that kind of was at a weird trajectory because just because I was behind the thing. There goes our bomb normally. Um, L is the pod. Our pods just kind of are those floaty things you see going around. Uh, they can damage you also, so be careful about those. Your bomb can also damage you. But um, something you can also do is the charge. Ouch. There we there we go. We got him down. See, he's down right now. Uh, you can shoot him a little bit, but after he gets up, he is invincible for a shorter period of time. That also goes for you if you go down, which you probably will throughout the game. Uh, yeah. So now I'm just going to proceed to uh, shoot him a lot. Because that's really, you could just do that throughout. Uh, especially for these first battles, you can just pretty much shoot the guy. Uh, use nothing but the uh, gun, and you'll you'll probably do pretty well. Uh, just because it's the basic battles. Ouch! That was not that's not nice, dude. That's not nice. Ow! Stop it! You're being so mean. Okay. Um. Wow. There's another thing. You probably shouldn't just stay in the same place like I was uh, doing for a while there. Oh, can we get him? Bam! All right. Uh, he started at a thousand health. Now he's down to zero. So, like Harry said, get his energy down to zero, and you win. So here we'll do a little victory dance. Each robo has two different victory dances they might do. And we'll get into different robos later in the game. Actually, I think in the next battle. <clears throat> now we're saving. That's, uh, that's not the end of the episode. Good work. I need to turn the tech speed up. Uh-oh, one of the police guys just blew it. Go over there and clean up his mess. Just a moment. Okay, sorry. Uh, just a new game file. I forgot to turn up the tech speed. <clears throat> oh come on! I knocked out that knocked out that loser. Don't I deserve a break? All right, listen up. This guy will be worn out from his fight too. If you listen to my advice, you should be able to beat him. Use the R button to fire bombs and the L button to launch a t uh, launch an attack pod. Firing your pod doesn't stop you from being able to move freely. Run at your opponent and then keep on pressing the L button. Use the R button to drop bombs. Use the L button to blast the pod. Got it? We got it, Harry. Okay, one more thing. If you get caught between your uh in your own pod blast, you'll take damage. Drop the bomb, blast the pod. More quotes from Harry with the guy with no last name. <coughs> Excuse me, my boy. Oh, sorry, uh, press day too soon there. Um, here we have a metal ape. It's a metal grappler model. Uh, throughout the rest of the series, you'll hear me praise this uh, type of model because I really like it. <laughs> Uh, the Metal Grappler model has strong offense and defense, but it, it, uh, poor mobility makes dodging attacks difficult. It's an, It air dashes once. I forgot to mention that. I'm sorry. I'll go over that in this, the, this battle. Air dashes, that is. Uh, so, Metal Grapplers, here we have a different type of robo or model, obviously. Uh, they're very strong and defensive, but they are slow. Uh, but they can take a lot of hits, as you'll see here. And he has the standard and basic everything else, so I won't need to go over that. We don't have any new parts, so unfortunately we can't uh, customize our robo any more than we already have or haven't, since we didn't get to do it. We're at the basic arena again, so let's get back into this uh, this episode. Technically, we're still here the whole time, but we weren't fighting, so it doesn't really count. Uh, that's no, really not true at all. But air dashes, let me explain. Uh, you air dash with the A button. You probably saw me doing that a little bit in the last battle. Uh, it's jumping around basically each type of robo can do it more I think we th we can do it twice with this robo, but the metal great uh, metal ape can only do it once our opponent So as you can see here this guy has taken a good amount of hits to knock get knocked down And I think if we can get him maybe twice more come on come on 
there we go. He is down, finally. So, 600-something health, and he finally went down. Uh, so, air dashes. I think I've brought up everything. Okay, something else you can do. You can fight in first person, although I do not recommend it at all. Here, uh, you use it, you do it with the C-Stick. It says point the C-Stick up, and you can turn this off or on in options. But for some reason, oh wow, it actually worked. So as you can see here, I'm in first person, and I really don't prefer it. I can't see what's going on. I'm going to switch back if I, come on, okay. Yeah, uh, it's kind of, uh, it doesn't always work, in my opinion, at least with me. I Maybe it's just something with my controller, I don't know. I don't know that I've exactly tried it with different controllers, but... Alright, this should be going a lot better than it is. Um, I'm just gonna go with an excuse here. I'm used to better equipment. Sure, let's go with that excuse. That sounds reasonable. <laughs> uh, since I am recording this uh, at the time later in the game, I've just, like I said, started a new game file. Uh, just to re-record this, because that... Uh, I, I re-watched that just... I knew I was gonna need to re-record part two eventually but just rewatching it was ooh, it was bad hopefully or if you i don't know uh an annotation on that video may have redirected you here but anyway to this video <clears throat> not bad for an amateur thanks harry it's good to know that we're better than our police force <clears throat> we lost another cop take the next guy okay whatever you say harry huff huff <clears throat> the police squad ain't uh ain't nothing still i did break a sweat he looks pretty tired. If you listen to my advice, you should be able to win. Try using the A button to jump. Thanks, Harry. You can do an air dash twice with the robo you're using. Uh, just press the A button during a jump. You can charge with the X button. You'll be able to knock your opponent down in one hit. A robo can't move when it's down because its systems need to reboot. Use the A button to jump and X to <laughs> charge. Crash! Got it? Yep, we got it. You can only do a charge when you're on the ground. It won't work if you're in the air. Jump and crash! Well... What are we up to? Zoom, zoom, bang, bang. Uh, let's see. Blast the, drop the bomb, blast the pod, and whatever he just said. Oh, it's a lot to take in. Anyway, uh, as you can see here, he has a Splendor. It is a, a shining fighter model. Uh, also, but as you can see here, we have a standard bomb F. The different letters stand for what type of explosion. Uh, what type of the type of effect the explosion has when it hits an opponent. So, so you can see here, uh, basic functions, fly straight forward, launches one bomb at a time, and it blows the target sideways. Um, our Holoseum will be at basic arena again, and we don't have any new parts as of yet. I think we may get one after this battle. I could be wrong. I could be lying. I'm sorry if I am. I'm a horrible person if I am. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, I already keep saying anyway, so let's just anyway, just keep on rolling with the anyways. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, uh, you want to mash buttons to get out of your cube. Hopefully I did. Um, I guess, really now, all I have to talk about is... Oh, don't don't knock us down, that's rude. Um, why my... the first recording of this episode was bad. Um, so I thought I attributed it to my headphones at the time, or my headset that I used to record with or I used to use to record it with, but in actuality, it was something different. It was something that came with the headphones. Um, so the headset, headphones, same difference really, I guess. That's what I always say. Um, it came with a thing, because it was just a, a headphone plug and a speaker, speak, uh, not, microphone plug that you would plug into your computer. Uh, and then it came with an attachment that you could plug it into that, and then, you, then in turn, you could plug that attachment into a USB uh, output thing, or input. And so I was using that, and a, that was what was causing my uh, audio to be bad. Uh, so I'm, I haven't been using that for a long while now, for the majority of the series. So that is what was wrong originally with uh, my, f uh, I think, first three episodes. Um, where it was just bad audio and stuff. There we go. <clears throat> so, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. I'm sorry if I got that tune wrong. I never really watched the series. Uh, I just know it. Anyway, we got, uh, we now have access to the Twin Flank Pod F, and we should go visit a parts generator. Thank you, random text. We, that guy broke his neck. <clears throat> well, I think you still need some work, but well done. Oh, look, how convenient. There goes another one. The police squad's not doing a thing. Hey, last one. Before you take him, go over to the parts generator and get some yourself some new parts. Parts generator? I'll explain later. Just stand in front of it and press the A button. 
not breaking the fourth wall or anything. You'll get a new part you can use, uh, you can use right away. Got it. J okay, go up in front of this machine, press A button. Right, there's one more guy left. Okay, so we go up here and we got the twin flank pod F. As you can see here, it's a new type of pod. I'll be going over it, obviously. Or maybe it's not obvious, but it is now. <clears throat> What happened? I turned my back for one second and all my men get wiped out. That was a long second. I'm worn out, but we need to—we need that robo. The last guy's exhausted. You sh this should be easy as cake. Still, you'd better listen to my advice. Use the control stick to change the direction of the robo queue when it launches. When the queue hits the ground, the number, show, uh, number shows how long it needs to charge for the transformation. To speed up the charge, uh, tap the control buttons rapidly, or you can mash the buttons, which I prefer. If you transform before your opponent, you get to attack first. Use the control stick to aim the robot cannon where you want to shoot, and then tap the buttons. Got it? Got it. Okay, last one. Go get him. <laughs> Turn, sa tap it, zoom, zoom, jump it, jump, bang, bang, boom, boom, blam, crash. I need to, I need to get that like frame. I need to get those words, frame them, and have them as a quote on my wall from Harry. That would be beautiful. Don't, don't lie. You think it'd be beautiful too. Anyway, our opponent here is a metal bear, another metal grappler model. Uh, so strong offense, defense, uh, slow though. We have a new type of gun though, where he does at least. It fires three, uh, throw three way gun. Fires three rounds in three rows. Aerial, aerial and ground shots are the same. The range is medium to long. It's a pretty good gun. He has a standard F bomb. We've seen that. And the faint F or faint faint pod F stops in front of its target to can deploy two pods at one time. Blows the target sideways and standard ankle weights. So. Uh, the Holosseum will be at Basic Arena. We're going to get into it some new arenas soon, I promise. Uh, but anyway, we are going to go to our pods, and let's find our Twin Flank. Where are you? There you are. The Twin Flank Pod F deploys one pod left and right, deploys two pods at a time, blows target back on a low trajectory. Cool. So I'll be showing you a little tactic you can do with this. I don't know that I showed it in the original video, but it's something I had figured out a little bit afterwards. And I'm not sure I ever actually showed it. So basically the twin flank pod will uh, put a pod out to the left and right in whatever direction you're facing, which is uh, similar with all pods. They'll deploy in whatever direction you're facing. Um, so let me just... So here, I shall show you. See, went off to the left and right in the direction I was facing at the time. All right, come here. We Oh, see that three-way gun? You're going to want to watch out for that, uh, just because it could be dangerous, especially from a uh, bulky, I guess you could call him bulky, bulky opponent like this one. Yeah! Okay, <laughs> just not hit him. Just launch a bomb at him while he's down. That's not rude. Uh, don't listen. Never mind. Uh, all right, maybe. I'm not showing this tactic off too well. My, I was going to say, rush! Well, that wasn't out. See, watch out for your own pods. Uh, I was going to say just rush them while use while doing the pods but I don't know that this guy is the best example to do it on because he won't go down very easily uh, as I, I say as I knock him down <laughs> anyway um, so three-way gun you will get that a uh, few episodes maybe maybe next episode my memory is a little rusty I could be lying I could be a horrible person you never know did I it looked like he knocked me through that wall I think he just knocked me over it though um, so yeah whoa hey buddy Oh, look, nice, we just, ah, oh, dang it, he, we comboed him, but, in, oh, there we go, uh, something you saw there, we both shot, but I knocked him down before his shots hit me, we're in a wall, that's cool, uh, and his shots disappeared, that's something you can possibly exploit, I think I talk about that, uh, in later episodes, though, so. uh, we got, oh, we got the three-way gun, we get it this episode, yay, uh, well, we're not gonna be able to use it this episode, unfortunately, because I believe there's a save here, that means my time has come to an end, I don't really know what I'm talking about. Uh, I keep saying that. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. You're awesome. You'd be even more awesome if you wanted to comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, I think I'm not going to be redoing uh, the next episode or the first episode just because I want to... Those are all right. It was just this second episode mainly. That was really, really bad. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day slash night slash morning slash evening slash whatever other vaguely specific time of day there is. And I think that is about it. Uh, next, well... I'll, I already have uploaded next episode, Inception, or not really at all, but anyway, uh, so you can watch the episode, rest of the series from now on since I've already uploaded, um, and if you're new to the channel, you'd subscribe, just do it, do it, you'll get a free subscription, it's really cool, it's uh, fascinating how it works, anyway guys, um, I, yeah, that's really about it, so see ya.